Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of the training. In this session we will see customizing transport request. We already know what is customizing transport request and how to create this customizing transport request. So this we have already seen how to create the transport request for customizing changes and what are all the content of the transport request and this transport request can be transported to different systems. Okay, let's move on. Then let's see what is transport organizer. This also we already know. Using the transport organizer that is using SC09, we can also view the customizing request use selecting by selecting this option and we can also view the workbench request that is a repository object and uh, we can also see the we, and if you see here you can also see something called global information where it gives you the detail of the TRs which also was imported to our consolidation system. So if I go to SE09 in SE09 also we can create uh, TRs which I already know which we did several times so let's go to our system go to SE09 So for a specific user, we can search the customizing request or let's say if we select only the customizing request, it will give you the customizing request or if you want the workbench request, it will give you the only the workbench request. At the moment, we do not have anything and we can also create TRs from here and if you see here, we have something called global information where you can see the request which was exported to your consolidation rules. At the moment, we already did quite a lot of changes in our TM, TMS system. That's the reason we don't have any much information here. So this is a way we can see that one, so, which we already know. So let's move on to the next one. So let's see what is CTS projects. So we already created one project in our system using SPRO underscore admin. So how we can use this project to transport the entire transport request for the projects. So let's see in our system how we can use this one. So we have a couple of steps which we need to do. We need to first activate this CTS. Let's go to slash n spro underscore admin. So this is the project which we have created. So let me open the project and if we go to transport request. Here first we need to activate the CTS functionality. Okay, let's let's activate the CTS functionality. It says activating the CTS project function in IMG project. When you activate CTS function from IMG project, you change the way the system re reacts follows. You can assign the change request to the project. You can see this assignment in the request overview. When you save any changes that has made in customizing setting in the project IMG, you can only propose this request and assign to the IMG project. This in the import overview transport management system, you can sort the request according to the assignment to the project in then import to them. Okay, so let's say okay. Now if I click here assign CTS request, here you can see we can create TR from here customizing our workbench request or as well you can add the request which is already existing in the system. Okay, let's select this. Let's say this is the request which you already created. If we want to add this request to the project, we can select this say okay it will add the projects you can also create the TRs if you want to create a new TR okay let's say to basis so 
So right now this particular project have two TRs which is added here. Okay, like this you can see or you can add the TRs to the project which you are creating or which you are managing. Now we will see little bit more about the concept behind uh, transport handling. That means what are all the activities and what are all the positions which is available in transports. Let's say in the development system we have two activities which is going to happen creating the TR and releasing the TR. So creating the TR can be done by the project manager or whoever is handling the project or the project team lead who will create the TRs and we can also create TR by the consultant whether it can be a functional consultant or basis consultant functional consultant or an ABAP consultant who will create the TRs. So in general we can allow anybody to create TRs however releasing the particular TR should be restricted to specific person. It can be a project team lead or it can be a integration manager or it can be also the project manager who will release the TRs. Meaning to say the development is completed based on the requirement then you will release the TR. So the releasing should be restricted to specific people. So once it is released then we are going to import the release to the QA systems and this QA system you need to test once it is tested then you will have somebody who will approve this TR. Okay. Once it is approved then we are going to import this to production by the TMS admin or the basis administrator who will do import of these TRs. You also had a job function here to do the TMS setup. So these are all the functions within the transport, creating TR, releasing TR, approving TR, importing TR and setting up the TMS systems. So this activity can be controlled using SAP standard authorization concept. So using SAP standard authorization concept, you can create roles for each functionality in each system, in development system separate and quality system separate and the productive system separate. So using these roles you can restrict that this particular user can do only the specific functions. Okay, this also quite important if in our transport management because we cannot allow every user to release TRs then import TR then we will lose the control of entire projects. So the project management we should have a plan how we are going to control the transport activity within the entire landscape. So these are all the activities which is going to happen. This activity can be managed and controlled by SAP standard authorization concepts. So it's very important that you develop these activity and create specific roles in the beginning of the project and make sure everyone within the project follow this process so that it will be very easy in the productive system as well as the quality of the TRs which will be important in the productive system will be approved as well as it is monitored by the project management. Okay, with this we are coming to the end of this session. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.